Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host there. That is right. It is Team Rai Rai. Now, how is everyone doing on this Saturday's edition? I am doing okay. So, everyone out there, I have social media accounts, but don't worry. I'll discuss it later on this video. Excuse me, now I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat or grab some to eat, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. It'll be strictly a link. You can read it or watch the video down below. It is your choice. Now, do you remember I made a video that Cha Gable is going to become a free agent very, very soon. Well, listen to this. Cha Gable has decided to stay with the Dewey. In a recent, as a favor offered from the company after his contract expired last week. Now, do you think there was a good decision that he's staying with this company or a bad decision? Now, I guarantee wrestling gurus, if a McMahon was still in his company, he will not resign with his company, <clears throat> Chad Gable, because McMahon always mess up characters of wrestlers, you know? So, he's doing a good thing right now, Chad Gable. He's on fire with this character and is 10 times better than what McMahon ever did with him. I know, is that, that's how it is, you know? So, if you want to read it or you prefer just listen to the podcast, it's down below. Okay, of course, it does not, it does not say how much money he's getting. It does not say, I'm looking briefly, how much years he's staying with his company. I'm assuming maybe like a five-year extension and worth probably a tons of money, you know, I'm assuming. So, so the podcast, as guess it was exclusive, uh, he discussed that he's staying with his company. Now, if he decided not to resign, I don't think it's a big loss. I don't think so. Because, I mean, he's good. Don't get me wrong, Chad Gable fans, but... I don't think he's like that guy to put fans to buy tickets just for him. You know what I'm saying? But maybe that will change in, in the long run, you know, down the road, you know. Look at what happened to Daniel Bryan. He was on fire when he was in this company. So, you know, I don't know. So, what's your thoughts on this re-signing with his company. I guess he's going to finish his career with the WWE. You know? So all that good stuff. You know? I don't understand why did he have a crappy gimmick before this one. I forget what it was. I think he had a couple of crappy gimmicks before Triple H took over, right? So. But there's a lot of wrestlers in this company have always have crappy gimmicks and I don't know why they can't give him a good, a, a good um, gimmick in the beginning. I don't know. You know, it all depends if the fans like it or don't like it. I don't like the um, the one gimmick that Chad Gable had. I forget what was it. It was very stupid. You know. Um, so you know, I don't know if, if this guy is gonna be ever gonna be a Rumble winner. I don't know if this guy will ever headline. A solo match, I mean, I have no idea. Or ever win the money in the bank. Who knows? If WWE will give him the major push, you know? Do you think he deserved that kind of push? You let me know. Now, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media comments will be down below. If you want to be part of the Robert Show, that's fine. If not, don't worry about it. See you guys later tonight. And I'll talk to you later tonight. Thanks for watching. Peace out.